Thanks for purchasing our theme and encouraging us to create more awesome products. We believe that quality support is one of the most important part of any digital items or products such as a template or UI kits. We are selling our creative templates, our products, mostly on theme selection. Apart from that, we are selling React or a Next.js template on MUI store, Vue.js template on Beautify store, and we also sell our templates on ThemeForest. It doesn't matter whether you have purchased from theme selection or somewhere else. You can use GitHub issues as a support ticket to simplify the process of support. In this video, I will be explaining theme selection support, how to get private GitHub repository access, and how to raise support. Please don't use our contact us form or email for support purpose as core development team does not handle emails. In order to get support, you must have a GitHub account. If you don't have one, you can create a GitHub account for free. Now, why we use GitHub issues as a support kit? First of all, it is easy to collaborate and raise GitHub issues and bugs. A core developer team can be directly in touch with you using GitHub. We can also provide hotfixes without waiting for the next releases. You can download previous releases package from GitHub releases. And you can also send us a PR or maybe a pull request to improve the code. So let's talk about this first one. GitHub access will give you a direct access to private GitHub repository. You must have a GitHub account in order to use this feature. Only one user can get access to GitHub repository with the purchase. So now let's under understand this GitHub access form. So the first field is purchased from maybe a marketplace or store name. So let's say you have purchased or tempted from theme selection, you will select theme selection. And if you have purchased from any other store, you will select that. For theme selection and theme forest, you will get on the spot private repository access with the help of purchase key or purchase code. That can help us to verify your purchase. For the other stores like Beautify Store and MUI Store, they do not have purchase key or license key features. So for those requests, it will take one day to approve your purchase manually. So let's say if you have purchased from theme selection, you will select theme selection. And then the brand name, let's say I have purchased material React Next.js admin template. I will select material over here and the technology will be a React plus Next.js. And the next field is license key. So in order to get license key, you will follow this article. And the next field is GitHub username. By following this information, you will get the GitHub username. Make sure you enter the GitHub username without prepending at the rate. And your email address and full name. Let's say if you have purchased our template from ThinkForest, you need to enter the purchase code. By following this link, you will get how to get or where is my purchase code, okay? If you have purchased from MUI store, as I've explained earlier for the MUI and Beautify store, we need to manually approve your purchase. So for that, you need to get the order number of your purchase. So by following this link, you can get MUI store order number and invoice. You need to get the order number and upload the invoice over here. The rest all field will be the same. Similarly, if you have purchased from the Beautify store, you will follow this link to get the Beautify invoice number and invoice. So let's raise one sample GitHub repository access to understand it better. Let's say I have purchased material react next year's admin template from theme selection. So I will select theme selection and then I will select material as a template. 
I will select React plus Next.js as a technology, and then I need a license key. So by following this article, I get to know that I am able to get the license key from here. So I will copy this license key and paste it over here. And the next is GitHub username, your GitHub username. So in order to get the GitHub username, you can follow this information. And then your email address and your full name. And press the submit button. So you will see the success message like a repository access request has been raised for your username. For the purchased item, check your email address for the confirmation. So let me check the email. So I have the GitHub invitation email for the repository access. You must have to confirm the invitation in order to get the repository access. Once I will click on view invitation link, it may show you a 404 page because you are not logged into the GitHub. So you need to log into the GitHub and accept the invitation. Once you accept your access to private repository, you will be able to access repository code, branches, and releases. You can download previous releases code from here. And apart from that, you can collaborate with the development team and you can access the issues also. Once you have GitHub private repository access, you can easily raise support ticket or issues. Before you raise support, make sure you deeply check your purchased item documentation. So let's say I have purchased material React. There is a detailed documentation on each section. Apart from that, you can also use the search feature. So let's say I would like to change the logo of template. I will search logo and I will get the FAQs on how to change logo or branding. We have a list of all the FAQs which our users are facing issues with that. We have also article section in the documentation where we have covered most of all integration articles and other stuff. You can also refer the issues which were previously created in the repository. You can search the duplicate issues from here in order to get the answer quickly. Let's say if you're still not able to find the answer from documentation or the previously created issues, feel free to raise a support ticket. By using the support form, you can raise support. In the current window, make sure you are logged into your GitHub account. So I have already logged into my GitHub account. If you do not log into your GitHub account, you will land on 404 page as you are trying to raise an issue to private GitHub repository. So make sure you have already logged into your current window of your GitHub account. So let's understand this raise form. So the first field is marketplace. So let's say I have purchased Material React from theme selection, I will select the theme selection. Purchased item, brand name, the technology name, and for which version of, of the product I would like to raise support. So let's say I would like to raise support for the latest release, I will select that. Issue type, from here you can select type of issue. So let's say I have a question regarding the template uses. I will select the questions. Let's say if you have a feature request, you can select the feature request and share your feature request or feedback with us. And if you want to raise a bug, you can select a bug and fill all these details to raise a bug in our template. Raise example GitHub issues or ticket for material react admin template to get support from dev team. So select the theme selection as I have purchased template from theme selection, select material, React Next.js, the latest product version. Now let's say I have a question regarding the how to change logo or branding of the template. So I will select other over here and enter your 
issue title so i will fetch this and your question so let's say i want to use my logo instead of the template logo how can i change that or how can i do that so enter your question as brief as you can you can also share a screenshot or video recording for the issues you have and upload it on drive or maybe somewhere else and add the link over here so we can access that select this checkbox that you have checked over documentation and FAQs and click on the preview button so you will land on the issue preview page on github once you click on the preview button you will land on the github issue page where you will see all the details which you have filled in raise issue form click on the submit issue once you have successfully raised github issues our github board will greet you within a minute and our dev team will get back to you within one or two business days with the base solution that we can provide from our end access to your purchased items private github repository is a one-time process once you have the private repository access you can raise multiple github issues by using the raise support form i hope that you have learned how to get github repository access and raise support thanks for watching this video